Yo, you see what it is, man? It's that boy Punch, that new face. It's this is 50.com. I got my guy with me. Yeah, you already know. Made in Tokyo. Private club records. He out here. Ooh. Bang, nigga. So look, let's get straight to it. <laughs> my guy is hot. How does it feel to be hot? Do you feel like you hot? You feel like you cold? What's up? This jacket cozy. You know, 424. You know, I'm just, I'm tossed up. So, you know, I you know I appreciate everything that's happening for me yeah. and that's moving, you know, and the stars are aligned the right way and, you know, I'm blessed. God got everything written. Yeah. Like, you know, it's, I'm just uh, every day different. Right. Every day a new day. I appreciate everything that happened for me from, it might be a snap, or it might be a tweet from somebody or somebody showing love that's been doing it. It might yeah. be an interview with somebody else that's upcoming that's doing it. Yeah. And, you know, I appreciate it. I don't know why this nigga being humble to me, my nigga. Cause his record's fucking up the fucking internet. You go on 10, oh, 15 shit. million plays on SoundCloud? Look, right, yeah. wrong? Yeah, we do. Around, man. That's uh, not regular shit. One record, you in eight yeah. digits. See, that's a different kind of confidence with it. He's being real cool. Y'all going, you know what I mean? This is what it is. I'm in South by Southwest and my guy came on stage with my guy Royce Rizzi. Shout out to my guy. You know what I mean? Plug, gotta get your people moving. Mm -hmm. Um, how did it feel to get down to South by and just see like the whole culture come in and everybody fucking with your record to the magnitude they were? Um, I felt like it's like that was my first South by I ever went to. Rizzy had been to maybe like two or three. Mm -hmm. And I've always been the dude that was at home. It didn't make sense to go because I didn't have no music out. I didn't have nothing. I didn't even go because I was like, I didn't want to go until I really had something or like I, I wanted to go. So like, I used to hear about it all the time. Rizzy used to tell me about it. Like, and I would see videos, different shows and all of this. And to be able to go and not only just for me to go, but for my whole team, Private Cut Records, Rizzy, um, Sama Slims, Noah Woods, um, my name Finn, all of us to be able to be on that fader stage. Yeah. And you know, we out here like, just moving, yeah. independent, just like young and cool. Like, you know, it's like people be like, yo, you humble, you super chill. And I'm like, man, I'm in my bag. I like, I'm in my bag, I'm just vibing. Like at the end of the day, like, like, you know, things, things, like, things come and go, but I don't think this is a thing. Like, I, I feel like it. this is like, I feel like this is, just, this is just me. Like, it's just like getting some light on what we do. Cause I'm not, I'm, I'm not doing nothing for, no one else. Yeah. Like I've been dressing the same way. I didn't like you know like my hair is the same way when I woke up. Uh, I got my Fendi frames on. I'm Talk just about it. I'm just vibing. So like you so, know and so it's like this. So like so like you know like the fifth um the 15 million plays on Uber and the five million plays on the video. Yeah. And every record on the whole EP is over a million plays. It's been less than eight or nine months. Yeah. And you know, like, I'm blessed that everybody listening to it. Like, yeah. that's the real, the humble like this, yeah. Like, it was like, I was just explaining, like, you got the Made in Tokyo, that's super humble, that's super chill, that's vibe, that's in his bag, and then you got T.Y. You got the other side where you might hear, you hear T.Y. on the track when he like, sauce. Yeah. Hey, like, you know, and I'm running around on stage and I'm sweating and I'm like, we out here and I'm crowd surfing, yeah. whatever, like that's that vibe. But like when I'm chilling or whatever, I can't be turned 24 seven. I do. I ain't mad at it. Nigga, it's so crazy. Let me tell you something, man. As, as, as a young talent, mm -hmm. what's the biggest difference from last year to now? Cause I mean, you come in really way out of, you know, left field right now pretty fucking fast. You get what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. how does it feel between like, if not last year, you know, right before this took off to now? Cause it gotta be a world, a world difference right now. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say like this, like my big brother, Ray Rizzi, mm -hmm. like I played, I played him my I Want record and my Uber record and I played him the I Want record, I'm like, yo, I really wanna drop this. Still to this day, you could go to the I Want record that I have produced by Richie South and it's uploaded on Rizzy SoundCloud. And I always tell this to everybody that's doing music or you're doing something from a job or whatever you wanna do, it always take one person to spark something in you to be like, yo, like, 
you got it. You could do this. Right. And I and I asked him, I'm like, yo, like I need you to upload this to your SoundCloud. I leaned all the way. I'm like, yo, like I need that. Like I need that. Like I don't ask for nothing else. I'm tired of being a corner boy, being in a corner and listening to all these interviews and not getting interviews. I like I like he was like this, yo, you can do whatever you want. Like if you wanna do this record, go do it. You wanna go to Cali? Like when I went to Cali and I was making beats, you wanna go out there? He support me with everything I do. So really? this record that I put out that I want was the first one and the blog picked it up like 10 days later and my phone wasn't dry after that. Like everybody and it's like, it all took me like, yo, Rizzy, can you please like, yo, can we like, you know, he was like, I got you. Like, just upload it. We didn't know where it was gonna go. He didn't know where it was gonna go. He was just like, you my brother. How can yeah. I tell you no? Like you my little brother. Yeah. Like, and, you know, and I support you. So to see everything happen, it's like I was in the studio with Rizzy when he was in the studio with JD, Usher and all these people or when Rizzy took me to Wiz concert, the first concert, like or letting me come out on his stage like a like almost two years ago on a Kendrick show. Right. And nobody knew, like, and it was just like, yo, why are you bringing all them people on stage with you? Like, nobody know you yet. Like, why are you bringing them people? Right. And then it's like, it was always squad. It was always, I don't care. Like, I'm going to bring up. So it's like, now it's my turn when I had that fader for it. My first time South by, you see Royce Rizzy there. You see right. Salma Slim. You see everybody there that was helping me when I didn't even have nothing. When it wasn't friendly frames and, you know, yeah. all of that. When it was just like, you know, young, T, young, young, young Tokyo before that, was, you know. I I am mad. I mean, that's amazing, man. So the I mean? so like, what the answer to the question is like left field. A lot of connects. A lot of things that been moving. I wouldn't say that like it like naturally happened, but at the same point, every every place that I go, every interview I go and I bring up Royce Rizzy, people know. Yeah. And it's like this, yo, my guy. I go to the devil's yo, my guy. Like everybody's like my guy. So when it comes to yo, this is Rizzy's little brother. We gotta show him love. Right. We're gonna show him like love even more now because yo, like I like I rock with him. Even if like I don't know his music or whatever, I genuinely rock with this kid. That's a fact. Like, so it's like I guess that the like there's a lot of knowledge that Rizzy knows that he told me one day before we signed management contracts and stuff like that, he told me like this, I would never steal you wrong. You're my little brother. Mm -hmm. If anything, I wanna see you do good. So with that I've never, still to this day, the day that I got management, the day that he uploaded the record, let me upload the record, all of that, since that day, I've never questioned him on a move. He'll be like, there's shows that I probably got lined up that Rizzy already said yes, and my manager got put together because Rizzy knows it's a good look, or I know this DJ personally, I need you to go talk to him because he showed me love previously. So there's a lot of people that off rip, already know that Sean Love, like, wait, that was little, little bro, I got the, oh, okay, yo, like, I ain't know, like, bro, I ain't know who you was, but now we meet him, and his yeah. respect, and his, and his love, so now it's doubling back around, and it's so left field that people are like, wait, we put two together, like, oh, like, these, they real brothers, yeah. they really out here where it's like this, you see me, anybody that ever slept on Rizzy, or any bag that he ever missed, I'm coming back, I'm getting that, we doubling back, and we got records, and that's just what it is. Yeah. So. I ain't mad at it. So listen, before you came in, mm -hmm. I was having an intense argument with my guy, Jeremy. Okay. We talking about the double XL cover. How important, let, let's start here. How important is that to you right now? I'm not even focused. I'm not even on it. I'm not focused on it. Like I, like I love that they've put me in, uh, put me in a category for my fans to vote. And like, I love that. And I, and I told my fans, you know, like vote, you know, like you got every right as a, like, you know, as a fan to vote for me to, if you want me on there. Yeah. But my main focus right now is I think they'll be more excited if I said I had a project today that I was dropping more than the cover. Than the cover. Because like, they, they really in tune in that. Like, and it's like the magazine means, you know, like it means a lot to like hip hop and all of that. But like, like to be honest, like, I'm so focused on my music because that's what will get me that. So it's like, it's like, it's cool, but it's like, I'm trying to be in a studio. I'm trying to finish up these projects. I'm trying yeah. to do these shows and dap people up that listen to my music in Minnesota or uh, um, Texas, not even Houston or any of like, uh, like a random city. I'm trying to dap yeah. them up, I'm trying to go to the random, ran r random radio stations. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to be in chat, I'm trying to be in chat with, um, with Magic. 
and you know, getting getting these records played, going out to eat. Like I'm I'm really engaged with the people that rock with my music yeah. versus the artist that's just a fan and just want to do a record. I'm more you. focused on the the kid Johnny that's down the street that like yo Uber is my joint and I'm yeah. like bro like I appreciate you because at the end of the day nine months ago I was telling Rizzy I don't know what I'm gonna do like you know you got this going on I don't want to be in a uh, like in a um just here yeah. just like the the kid that's sitting here like I really want to do he's like what's on you back like you know like all you had to say was that you wanted like you just like you cool you chill like you write your record like if you want it Go get it. And it's funny, it's like I made a record I want. Or whatever. And it's like I'm talking about everything that I want in the record. The Uber is like this, I don't have a L's. Like it's like this, I am jumping the Uber everywhere. But Rizzy put me on to Uber. Yeah. Like I wasn't moving around like that. I was home in Atlanta and Rizzy was like, yo, I'm about to hop in the Uber, I'm gonna call you back. And I'm like, nigga, like just you know banging on me. Yeah. Like, like, dang, like, what's the Uber? Like yeah. I'm searching, I'm online, like Oh, he's like, okay, all right, you know. And I'm talking about, oh, I'm hopping in the XL Uber. So all of that stuff, I'm like, oh, he's just flexing. He's just styling on me. Like, all of this, he in New York in the yeah. Uber, jumping out with JD, all of this. And I was like, yo, when I go to New York, we getting in an Uber. Like, I'm like, it's like, I got it. Like, I got to do that. Like, we well, got to well, get an XL. Well, now you got to. And it's like this now. It's like this, like, anywhere I'm going, even if it's on some, like, like, whatever I catch myself, in an Uber or say my shorty in another city and her phone jacked up and Uber messing up, I'm calling an Uber like, yo, like you know, like you know, we need to make that happen or whatever. Yo, this is a lot of plugs. Uber, did you cut this nigga the check yet? Because we we, mean, we, 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 we working we on working something. On it? We working on well, something. Well, listen, well, look, man, this 50 fucking with it, too. Let's get it on the check, too. Let's make yeah. it work. There it is. Yeah, this Uber, is what's 50. the line? Yeah. There it is. That ain't matter. Yeah, so but listen, yo, Uber is such a big record. Yo, mm -hmm. I, I just like when people hear those records and they get to hear that verse slope. Can we just hear uh, uh, at least a 12 out of how, how that record kick off? Yeah. All right. Northside, cool and shorty, yeah, that's where I stay. Hey. Heard you was a lame boy, get up out my face. And my ex keep calling, sweaty, she be in the way. Hey. And I need a thick red bone, shorty where I lay. Bad bit in LA. LA. Told me I should make the trip. Shorty bad as hell, yeah. With them Kylie Jenner lips. Uber <laughs> every fucking wear. Pre rolls in my vip. Mm -hmm. And I think that bitch I... from Canada. She from the six, you know, it's you know, like you know, like, but yeah, bad at it, man. yeah, man. I, I get it. It's some, it's some chill shit. It's, it's nothing. It's nothing where it's like, yo, I gotta run up in your crib and shoot you. Nah, it's nothing. It's nothing that, like, you know, it's not like nothing. It's everything that's that's good. You no, know, it's bad just bitches chill. in L.A. is good. It's chill. I ain't you mad know? at that. It's, it's, it's vibes. It's like everything is a vibe. If you get a record from Made in Tokyo, I want the first 10 seconds you be like, mm hmm, okay. Yeah. Like it's that vibe. Either I'm already moving to the beat, or you know, like I'm I'm I'm, I'm fucking with the ad libs in the beginning, or he done hype me up. So you produced Uber every year too? No, oh. K Swisher did. Oh, K Swisher. K Swisher okay, okay. produced the whole my whole EP, the You're Forgiven EP. He produced that whole project. That's dope. But you know, so um, yeah, K Swisher's dope. <laughs>